Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am coming out with a sad story which has happened in the United States and has shaken the whole country. Violence has broken out again in the US over the killing of George Floyd. A police officer kneeled on his neck to pin him down. He was arrested over a complaint received from a corner shop that he tended counterfeit currency. Police officers were trying to put him in the car and Mr. Chauvin pulled Mr. Floyd out of the passenger seat to the ground. Chauvin places his left knee between head and neck of Floyd. George Floyd repeatedly pleaded that he can't breathe. For 8 minutes and 46 seconds, Chauvin kept his knee on Floyd's neck. This eventually led to his death. The culprit, Chauvin, is charged with murder case. He should get punished, no doubts. This unfortunate incident has created anger, fear and distress among many in the United States. Protesters became violent. In many areas, shops looted, cars burned, buildings attacked. This madness should stop. Protests should not end up in violence. The shop owners got families. They run the shop for a living. What would anyone get by looting it? Can they bring George Floyd to life by burning the shops? By endangering others' life? By destroying public properties? Your disagreement can be shown in a peaceful way. Mob cannot take over the law and order. This is not the way to win justice. Stop this violence. This violence will increase the number of casualties and will cause many people to starve and be homeless. Be rational. Stay calm. Government has the responsibilities and give them time to fix the issues. Stay calm guys. Stay calm. We all empathize with George Floyd and his family. We know that what is done is not right. But why do you want to destroy everything out on the street? Go back home. Your violence. Your protest. Your anchor, your distress, all these things are taken into account, but do it in a proper way. If you don't agree with the ruling party, you got an opportunity to vote against the regime. But destroying someone's peaceful life, destroying someone's shop, destroying someone's home is not the answer to an unfortunate event. I agree that what is done to him is absolute inhumane. But we have a system to punish the culprit. May George Lloyd's soul rest in peace. And I can only pray and request that stop this violence. This is not going to win anything. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you all a pleasant evening.